You're dreaming. Your plan is just a lie. I will not sit and watch my kingdom die. It's all a lie. Judas, I love you, Judas. Don't let my prayers and teachings be in vain. The lie must be slain. you Judas why can't you feel tomorrow's they had sung a hymn, Jesus and several of his disciples went out to pray beneath the olive trees in the Garden of Gethsemane. Even with his closest friends, he is alone. His pain he is unable to share. His agony is beyond our imagination. And now beneath the light of the desert sky, he faces his darkest night. The weight of the world is on one man's shoulders. me. 
Jesus was speaking with his disciples, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was an angry crowd, armed with clubs and swords to arrest Jesus. Judas, I love you, Judas. Judas went immediately to Jesus, betraying him with a kiss. Hail, Master. And they quickly seized Jesus and took him.
morning and that he was getting nowhere with the people, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your responsibility. and mock at him. <laughs> 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 Last time your grizzly was a king. And look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> if he is a king, <laughs> then he should have a crown. <laughs> 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 he doesn't look like any king I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 oh, he's a senator. Yes, <laughs> and give your king a throne. <laughs>
Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. <laughs> mother of Jesus stood and watched the death of her beloved son. They took a spear and they pierced the side of Jesus. <laughs> Some king couldn't even save yourself. P. 
pierced your side and did they think they could open your heart anymore when they took away your life what were they searching for And in spite of how they tried, when they pierced your side, how could they open up your heart? <laughs> Anymore. Everything you had, you
this is so precious because it is so costly. After they took his body down, they wrapped him in burial cloths. Then our Lord, who came to us as a babe in a borrowed manger, was placed in a borrowed tomb. He was born with nothing, and he died with nothing. Yet he paid the price for the sins of the world. Early on Sunday morning, as the sun rose slowly above Jerusalem, warming the new day, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Jesus, made their way through the quiet streets, those same streets which, which had cried, crucify him, just three days earlier, now lay silent. Mary. The Sabbath is over. I see the tomb. It's just a bed. Now with perfumes and with ointment, let us finish the burial of our dead. so many times before, yet this road seems longer today. My heart, it overtakes me, I've lost my son. The pain grows stronger with each step I take.
and I, John, bear witness that the tomb was empty. I have spoken with the resurrected Jesus. I had breakfast with him beside a lake, and he placed his hand on my shoulder and he said, Do not be afraid. I am the living one. I, who was dead, am alive now and forevermore. And I hold in my hands the keys to death and to life. Yes, dear ones, he is king of kings.